Well hello, thank you so much for joining me today and today we are going to be making a different type of soap on our pantry soap making show. I thought we'd try something that celebrated ingredient that was actually used by someone else recently who I really really admire on YouTube and that's Patrick and um, I'm going to put his link below but Patrick uses some amazing ingredients and this was one that I saw him using recently and I haven't made nut butters in like forever and I was inspired to grind up a whole load of nuts and bits and pieces. I think I bit, took mine a bit too far because I over toasted them so you might not want to make them quite as dark as mine but I thought we'd use almond butter. Now you can use any types of nuts that you like. I've done this with pistachios in the past. I've done it with peanuts, but I don't recommend using peanuts or peanut butter in soap because some people do have allergies to it. So I'm not going to be using peanuts for that reason. And I also wanted to use ground almonds. So that's definitely going to be in this recipe. And I use almonds a lot when I'm doing a facial soap. So I decided that this soap would be a traditional Castile soap where we're just using the olive oil for our main oil. And then we're going to be using those beautiful nourishing almonds, which are also thought to be, or a lot of people seem to use them for calming down skin irritation. And some people use them when they have an acne skin. So let's just have a look and see the recipe itself. So you can see I'm just using a traditional olive oil recipe. I've also got my almond butter. Now, if you've never used or made almond butter before, let me just explain a little bit about what you do. Generally, you just need to warm your almonds up before you start whatever type of nuts you're using because the nuts are not going to release their oils until you've warmed them up. I over toasted mine, they went quite nutty and brown, but that's actually made them smell really delicious. So I guess it really depends on whether you want that more toasty note to them or not. You can make them very, very white. Now I ground a lot of mine down initially using a coffee grinder and I used some of the actual almond shells as well. And that's made it darker as well as the over toasting. But you can make them almost very very pale by using peeled almonds where you're not using the skin or any of the shells and hopefully you can see this is our oils and here we have our very very delicious almond butter so this was inspired by Patrick and I love watching his videos. He uses just very honest ingredients. He always has a smile. He's always very peaceful to listen to. And he just really, you can tell that he just has a true love and passion for the things that he's making. And really, that's what this is all about. Let's just have a look now. I've added my almonds into my oils. And all I'm going to do now is give it a quick blitz. So all I have in here is my oils and my almond butter. There we go. And now I can add in my lye solution. Of course you need to be wearing your gloves. I am wearing gloves. I did get a comment a couple of weeks ago about not wearing gloves, but I am actually wearing gloves. They're just a clear plastic. Give it a good mix in. Now it's already looking absolutely beautiful. And this stick blender, it's it's a fairly new stick blender and it seems to put a lot more air into the mix than I would like. So it's thickened now. So I'm going to add in my ground almonds. Very, very soft on the skin, very gentle. Give them a good mixing. You can stick blend them in if you want to. I'm also going to add a little bit of lavender essential oil because I am going to be using this as a facial soap. 
I'm not overdoing it, just a little bit in there. And then I'm going to give it another blitz. Oh yes, that is looking beautiful. I'm in love with this colour. Of course it's going to go lighter, but I think that is going to look really nice. I was going to do this one as a loaf, but I actually forgot to bring a loaf mould over, so we're going to do bars. That's the thing about soaps. It's nice to just adapt to whatever you've actually got available to you. Don't get too worried about having all of the things. You can make beautiful soap with just what you have in your cupboards, your pantry. You don't need expensive equipment to celebrate a lovely soap. And there. Ooh, now you see, I went and did too much. So I made a mess. And if I try and get this out now, it's going to make it even worse. So I'm going to have to get a spoon in a second. It's easier to take a little bit out at this stage than it is to leave it. So take some out of the middle if you ever over pour. And then I just use my spatula and I'll just level off all of these excess areas. I'm not too worried about it as long as it doesn't really go over because it just takes ages to clean it up afterwards. Whereas if you do it when you're making it, it's just an awful lot easier. It just gives a bit of definition to the bars and it won't take forever then. So there we have our almond nut butter soap. I do hope that you have the chance yourself to make something like this. Now, I hope that you have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon on the next Pantry Soap Making Show. Leave some comments and I love answering all of your questions. So do come on and let me know what you think of this one. And if you try it, share the photos. I always love seeing the things that you're making along with me. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.